in sub-Saharan Africa, 33 million primary school aged children do not go to school. 18 million of those children are girls. According to the United Nations Agency for Children, UNICEF, closing the gender gap in primary and secondary education is the only viable path to reducing extreme poverty in nations and reaching the goals of international development. Faced with cultural beliefs coupled with financial challenges, the girl child in sub-Saharan Africa is deprived of formal education. The few who are fortunate to be enrolled in school drop out before ever reaching secondary school. Nafisa Adam is one such girl who received support from Comfort at an early age. After completing her secondary education, Nafisa was inducted into Kama, a group made up of Comfort beneficiaries, where she was given training on entrepreneurial skills. Today at age 25, Nafisa has set up a school of her own giving an opportunity of education to children in her community. You know, Patrick, as I was coming into work this morning, I yeah. heard a disturbing statistic on the radio yeah. that every seven seconds, a girl child is married off to an old, a much older man right. somewhere in the world. Every seven seconds, can you yeah. imagine? And even in the that, U.S., it happens. It happens yeah, everywhere. all over the world, okay. Anyway. And in our part of the world as well. All right, so what do we have for unpacking today? Well, here, today is the day of the girl child. Yes, it yeah, is. So it we're is. celebrating all girl children, mm -hmm. okay? So if you're a girl child anywhere, you have to be jumping up and down because today is a special day for you. But this morning, I have Lucy Apia. Uh, she's a senior officer for Feather Education Program. And then Esther Roxin. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good. Good. You're good? You're fine? Yes. Really? Okay. Now, Lucy, tell me about what is so special about today. Okay. Um, like you said, today mm. is a very special day. And um, especially for us, an organization that supports girl child education. Right. Comfort stands for Campaign for Female Education. It's a big day for us because we get to make noise about the rights of the girl child. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've joined the global movement to sort of create more awareness mm -hmm. um, the barriers facing the girl child. Mm -hmm. And our Kama network, of which Esther is part, right. is doing a lot <clears throat> of things in various districts mm -hmm. to celebrate this day. How, okay. how do you go about it? How do you go about selecting who the deprived girl child is and then you go on to, to support them? Okay, so Comfort works in four regions in Ghana, the mm -hmm. Northern region, Central, Upper East and Upper West regions. Mm -hmm. And so before someone gets onto the program, he has to be a resident in these regions okay. mm -hmm. and has to be needy to be on our program. Okay. But then we also have another program for needy but brilliant students. But primarily, you have to be needy to be mm. on the comfort. And you have your data to see yes. or to track who exactly qualifies. Exactly. Okay, so the regions that you mentioned that you operate in, mm -hmm. are those the places where you've seen that this is a major problem as opposed to the rest of the country? Yes. Okay, and w what are the averages like there about I mean, when it comes to girl children who are being married off or who are being deprived of education and things of that nature? What are the numbers like? Um... So research has said that in the northern region, um, some girls don't start school at all. And then um, at secondary level, even those who start don't get to complete. Because when parents have to make a choice between the boy and then the girl, because of the poverty, they prefer to send the boy to school. Okay. Because they believe that the girl child will be married off anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, you are a beneficiary. Yes. So tell us your story. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have in to speak up, high okay? School. Yeah, in senior okay. high school. Right when I was about completing forms were brought to my school mm -hmm. that needy girls should come and fill, specifically those living in the district. Okay. That's in Fantaman. Okay. And so I picked the forms, I filled it, I was interviewed and I was fortunate to have been selected. Mm -hmm. But before I was selected onto the program, my parents were having a difficult to pay my school fees and then even way back in basic school I think the amount for the studies fee was 20 pesos. But most 20 of the, pesos? Yeah, sure. But most of the time, we were sacked from the classroom because we were unable to pay wow. that amount. No, wow, wow, was it 20 wow. pesos per uh, uh, tuition or 20 pesos for a period? Uh, no, for the studies fee period. Fee. That's wow. the extra classes. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. And being pesos. 80 number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm in a family was very difficult for my parents. Okay. So God being so good, I was picked onto the program and today I'm a testimony mm -hmm. because looking at 
the the benefit that I'm reaping now. Mm -hmm. Now people see me as a role model in my community. Mm -hmm. People come to me and tell me, I quite remember some program, My Better World. Mm -hmm. uh, we were facilitating in the senior high school. Mm -hmm. And then one guy came to me and was like, Madam Esther, I want to be like you. I was like, oh God, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> this is a dream come true. Yeah. Because for someone to look at me, I was, I was out of SHS. Mm -hmm. so for someone to look at me and tell me that I want to be like it, that means comfort has put in a lot of things mm -hmm. in me that mm -hmm. people want to look up to me and learn from me. So what exactly mm -hmm. do you do in your community? What exactly do you do there? Okay. So in my community, mm -hmm. one thing that I've noticed is that students find it difficult uh, answering questions, for instance, if they are given homework, mm -hmm. they are unable to do it well. So when they go to school, they end up getting the zeros. Okay. So I've taken it upon myself to help students in my communities uh, do their homeworks. Oh, okay. Things of that nature. Yes. Yeah, that and I go very... to my <laughs> basic school, my yeah. formal basic school, to talk to them mm -hmm. about issues like issues on teenage pregnancy, mm -hmm. and I encourage them to learn hard so that they can also climb the academic ladder. Yeah. Where would you be now if Camford hadn't come in to step into your life? <laughs> Honestly speaking, I think by now, it's either I'm married mm -hmm. or, sure, mm. because I'm coming from, actually I'm staying in South Pond, okay. in mm -hmm. the Fantua Municipal, but I come from Chufu, Kairiku, a village under the Chufu, uh, Chufu Atimokwa district. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay, so over there, most of them, most of the young men are drunk cats, and mm. then uh, girls who are of my age and even below, most of them are pregnant. Mm. Wow. So you can imagine. Mm -hmm. mm. You does that concern you, you, Lucy? That, does that concern you when in, in, in your selection? Do you look beyond those you just want to educate, but go deep into the community to find out what actually is, is happening there? It does. It does. That's why we worked um, closely with stakeholders in the district. Mm -hmm. GES is a big stakeholder. Okay. And then we have other people, religious, religious leaders mm -hmm. and other leaders in the community because we believe that they are better placed mm -hmm. to select these girls. And because they live in the communities with these girls, they understand mm -hmm. them, they know whatever situations they face. And they're able to identify mm -hmm. the real needy ones who are facing such... Mm -hmm. Do you encounter any... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I wanted yeah. to find out if you encountered any challenges. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Do you encounter any challenges? What are some of the challenges you encounter in, in your yeah, exactly? Um, one big challenge would be the quota because usually uh. um, you have more needy girls than you can support. Mm -hmm. And so every year, we even after our selection, we get a lot more requests coming in. And right. unfortunately, due to fans, lack of fans, we are not able to support everyone. Mm, so we need constant support. Yeah. But I always wonder, because we have, this isn't the first time we've had discussions like this. We talk about it all the time. We've been to seminars with mm -hmm. the Ministry of Gender talking about this problem. And it really doesn't seem to change much. And I know it's a, it's a big challenge to try and change certain mindsets and cultural norms, but do you really feel like you're making headway with programs like this? Because it, it seems like it's still an ongoing problem that we have, dealing with traditional rulers, religious leaders, even people in the community, mothers who even marry off their own daughters, you know, own women, women doing it to their own children. So why is this still such a persistent problem? It, 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 are you really making that impact? We are. We are making an impact um, because we also work with the parents of the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. So we have, they formed a group called the Parent Support Group. Mm -hmm. And um, we've educated these parents as well. They've come to appreciate the importance of education. And so over time, you find that um, the, the idea of giving children off to marriage at an early mm -hmm. age in some of those areas mm -hmm. is coming down because now mm -hmm. the parents appreciate the importance of education. Okay. And then they also educate other parents and then the parents also come together mm -hmm. to support students who are not absorbed onto our program. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that we, we are making well, progress. Okay. But well, it will take you're time. you're only one entity, you're doing a great <laughs> yeah, job. So it's yeah, it will good. definitely take time. Yeah. But That's congrats you, to you. Yeah, go on, a, go on to, yeah. to affect a lot of people, okay? Positively. Okay. All right, okay. okay. That's good. Okay. Lucy, good to have you. So Thank there you, you go. So much. Yeah. Today is a day of the girl child. So when you meet any girl child anywhere, just take them for take them out, lunch, breakfast, anything. Support them. Do something for them. Okay. We'll be right back. We'll be getting into sports and then the local headlines. <laughs>